you get all that. Which is really, really, really good, and you should definitely buy it. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm Cy Spurrier, and thanks for listening to me talk about number crunching. Even if it plays with time in ways you're not used to. Our point is, we don't believe comics readers should be treated like idiots, and we feel like you can be relied upon to absorb something uh, smart and funny and different. To break it down, it's a love story, except told from the point of view of the uh, surly asshole who's been sent to break up the happy couple. So, you know, screw the conventional narrative. The second inciting element is that the divine calculator uh, can't allow a mere human to break the rules of reality, so he dispatches bastard Zane, um, a metaphysical bailiff, to put an end to the time-twisting love affair I just told you about an opportunity which he cheats. It's about a mathematician who dies young, and behind the scenes of reality he finds the karmic accountancy, uh, a bureaucratic nightmare controlled by the divine calculator. And our hero is desperate to be reunited with the woman he loves, so the first inciting element is when he gets the opportunity to reincarnate. Metaphysical, time-travelling, crime-noir, sci-fi thriller, existentialist rom-com. Something like that. It's sort of tricky to define in genre terms, but I'll try. There's an unconventional, utterly unique story with gorgeous artwork by PJ Holden about love, the fabric of the universe, and casual ultraviolence. Hi everyone, I'm Cy Spurrier, uh, writer of X-Men Legacy and Six Gun Gorilla, uh, and now Number Cruncher, a brain-tangling new title from Titan Comics. And how would I try and sell it to you? Well, 